boost your English, tune into news reports and podcasts. Hello, language learners. Today we'll be diving into an exciting topic, expanding vocabulary related to news and current events. As you know, one of the most effective ways to improve your English language skills is to immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. And what better way to do this than by tuning into news reports and podcasts? So, let's get started. News reports and podcasts cover a broad spectrum of topics, from politics to science, culture, and entertainment. This gives you a great opportunity to learn a wide range of vocabulary. Plus, it gives you a chance to hear English spoken naturally, with all its colloquial phrases and idioms. Let's discuss the types of vocabulary you might come across in news reports and podcasts. Firstly, there are topic-specific words. These are terms that are specific to the subject being discussed, like monetary policy in economics or biodiversity in environmental news. Next, we have journalistic vocabulary. These are terms often used in journalism, such as allege, claim, confirm, or rebut. Understanding these words can help you comprehend the overall narrative of the news story. And don't forget about idioms and colloquial language. These are phrases used in everyday conversation, and you'll often find them in podcasts or in more informal news reports. Examples include phrases like, beat around the bush, or the ball is in your court. So, how can you effectively learn new vocabulary from news reports and podcasts? Here are some strategies. 1. Listen actively, not passively. This means focusing on what you're hearing and trying to understand the message, instead of just letting the words wash over you. 2. Note down new words and phrases. Whenever you come across a word or phrase you don't understand, write it down. Then, look it up in a dictionary or online. Try to understand not just its meaning, but also its context and how it's used. 3. Revisit and practice. It's important not just to learn new words, but also to reinforce your understanding of them by using them in sentences and speaking them out loud. 4. Explore different sources. Don't limit yourself to just one news outlet or podcast. The more you expose yourself to different sources, the more varied your vocabulary will become. And there you have it. By following these strategies and regularly listening to news reports and podcasts, you'll soon find your English vocabulary expanding and your listening comprehension improving. Keep practicing, stay curious, and remember, every word you learn is a step closer to fluency. See you in our next lesson, and until then, happy learning!